Hi everybody, my name is Christopher Fadinelli and I'm going to show you how to import some geometry as well as what can be done with geometry in Motion View. So let's get started. To import geometry or CAD as we like to call it, you have to go to File and Import. So we have three different types of ways to import geometry. One is just geometry, other is geometry or FEM using HyperMesh. Or if you have an H3D graphic, you can import H3D graphic here. For this demo, I'm just going to do geometry. Motion View supports various types of graphics. To view the supported list, please view the list to the right. All right, so now we can load that four bar in. And so what's done automatically is for each graphic entity, as you can see, so we have six graphics. For each graphic, a body is created. So let's first go into the bodies. Looking at the entity editor, we can see that the properties, mass and inertia properties, and center gravity can be derived from graphics based on the size of the component and the material that is set to it in the graphics entity. This will determine the new mass and inertias as well as center gravity. If you don't want to, you can unselect drive from graphics and override the mass and inertias as well as you can go back and forth after you set them. Now going to the graphics, let's go to the single slot since we're looking at that body. We can see the graphical source, the uh, graphic file that we used, and we can view also how many components are within that graphic file. So let's say there were a few extra graphic components you want to add on. You can select them here, and they'll be enabled with this graphic. I just add the dual slot, close, and so now we see this is a dual slot. Now if I go over a single slot, we see both are selected. And since we are driving from graphics, the mass and inertia will change since now we are grabbing information from two different components. So now let's just observe the mass and now let's go back to single slot, change our component just back to one. Now we have the mass and inertia from before. What can also be done is changing the material that the graphic is going to represent. So by default, it's going to be steel. We can select from a default list. So let's say I change the material from steel to wood. And now if we actually go back to the body, we can see the mass and inertia are changed. So it's going to automatically update the properties of the body. So to create your own material, you need to go to Geometry. And to the Setup option, you can see we have Materials. Select that. We can add a new material based off the elastic type. I'm just going to do Linear Elastic. I'm going to add a new one. In the pop-up window, you can define this new label, variable name, as well as you can grab values from already predefined sources. So let's, I'm just going to call this copy steel. And I want to take the steel properties. And I'm just going to update the density. And now I have that. I'm going to close it. I'm going to switch it to the new steel. And I'm going to view the new properties. And so the properties are automatically updated. That is all for this demo. Thank you and have a good day.